Hi, it's Anna Kaisa. Today we're going to learn Arda Chandrasana, the half moon pose. The half moon pose is a wonderfully vitalizing sideways bend. It opens our spine and our breathing. It can also help us feel the energy in our spine. If you have cardiovascular disease, keep your hands at the heart instead of keeping them above the head. If you have osteoporosis, keep the sideways bend minimal and mostly fold at the hip. If you have any spinal injuries, check with your doctor to make sure it's okay for you to do these kind of poses. And if you have any shoulder discomfort or injury, there's a few options for you. So the, this is what the pose looks like. Let me, let me show you the pose first before we go into it together. So this is sideways bend where we have our hands, palms facing forward, thumbs interlacing. So if this is hard on your shoulders, you can open the arms, hands up, you can hold a strap, You can also bend the elbows more or you can bring one hand to the hip. Also the idea is to keep the heels off the floor as we are in this pose but if this is difficult for you balance wise then what you can do is to take a blanket or your bath towel or some kind of thin cushion and start with your heels on the blanket. If you can, keep the outer heel slightly above the, the inner heel because that way you can get a more uniform arc and not all the bend is coming from the spine. So let's do this pose together now. Step your feet together. Inhale, circle your arms up. Palms facing forward, interlace the thumbs. Come to the balls of your feet. Exhale and bend to the left, keeping your heels off the floor. The right heel can be a little higher than the left. Same with the right hip. This way you can get a nice uniform arc. The goal here is not to go as far as you can. This is actually not helping you to feel energy and have energy flowing in your body. If at any point it's hard for you to breathe, that means that you should back off a little bit. Lift upward through the inner side of the arc and through the crown of your head. So we want to have a very nice uniform arc where there's no sharp edges anywhere. Also, avoid twisting or bending forward or backward. Imagine you're in between two panes of glass. Tuck your pelvis in if you have tendency for sway back or if you are pregnant. Again, if you have osteoporosis, keep that lateral bend minimal. Keep your breath flowing. And now let's exit, inhale, stretch upright, exhale and release your hands. Step your feet to Tadasana. Pause and feel. Notice the changes in your body. Go ahead and open your eyes. Let's repeat on the other side. Step your feet together. Inhale and circle your arms up. Interlace the thumbs the other way now. Come to the balls of your feet. Exhale and bend to the right. Keep your heels off the floor if you can. 
Gaze upward slightly. Tuck your pelvis in as needed. Relax your shoulders. Lengthen upward through the inside of the arc and through the crown of your head. Keep your breath flowing smoothly and naturally. Now, feel strength coming into your body from the feet up to the spine to the point between the eyebrows. Mentally affirm, strength and courage fill my body cells. Strength and courage fill my body cells. Let's exit, inhale, stretch tall, exhale. Relax your arms down, step your feet under your hips. Notice where you have released and awakened energy. Bring this energy consciously inward and upward to the point between the eyebrows. Go ahead and open your eyes. So this was Ardha Chandrasana, the half moon pose. It's a really nice energizing pose and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how it went and I'll see you next time.